So here the first thing we will be creating is REST API using the Spring Boot. So before creating the Spring Boot, you need to make sure that you have properly installed Java JDK onto your system. So to check if Java JDK is already installed into your system or not, just open terminal or if you're using Windows, just open the command prompt and just type Java hyphen version. And if it shows something like Java version and the version of Java, so the Java JDK is already installed into your system. So if you haven't installed Java JDK on your system, so you can just check out on the description. I have already got a video for how you can install Java JDK for Windows, Linux and Mac. So once you install Java JDK, just go to your favorite browser and search for start.spring.io. So it will open the Spring initializer here and to create the Spring project. So let me just keep this default Maven project language java and we will keep the snapshot whichever is the default and you can just keep the group name something like code with arjun or you can just keep your name and we will give the full stack backend and you can just give the demo description so let me just keep something like backend application and so i have got the 17 java version so if you have got 8 or 11 so you can go with that as well so i will just choose the 17 and we need to add some of the dependencies and the first dependency is spring wave for running the application and the second is we just need to add the jpa so jpa is basically used to access and manage the data between java object and the relational database and the next thing is we will be using the mysql database so for that just type mysql driver so once this is done so just click on generate so this will create the zip file so once this is created let me just show in finder and let me just double click to extract this one so let me just drag and drop into the desktop or just keep wherever you want so let me just close so now to write the java program so i will be using the intelize as my id so if you are comfortable with netbeans or eclipse id or spring tool suit so you can go with that as well so now I will open the IntelliJ. So let me just search for IntelliJ and let me just click on open. So let me just open the project. So let me just click on open. So this will now open the project. So here you can see, so this is installing the dependencies. So let me just create the packages. So let me just go inside this source, inside main and inside Java. So inside here, I just want to create some of the packages. So just right click here and click on new and just choose the package and just type model. So this will be one of the package and another one, we just want to create the repository. So just type repository and another package controller. So let me just right click again and click on new and create the new package. So let me call it controller and for exception. So we will be creating the exception package so just type exception so these are the packages where we will be creating all the java classes